Hello and welcome to the New Farm Academy of Virtual Learning. Today's topic is ragwort control in grassland. My name is Brent Gibbon and I'm an agronomy manager at New Farm UK. In this webinar, I will discuss the problem caused by ragwort infestation, also the biology of common ragwort. We will then have a look at some control options and finally some very effective agronomy solutions from New Farm. Let's start by having a look at the problems caused by ragwort infestation. So ragwort is essentially a poisonous plant if eaten by livestock. It contains alkaloids. These are chemicals which can build up in the liver and are toxic and horses are particularly susceptible. Due to this fact, it's now classed as an injurious weed and has even got its own Act of Parliament in the UK from 2003. Um, due to this act, DEFRA published a code of practice to prevent the spread of ragwort and that is easily available online. Now, when ragwort is growing healthily, livestock will avoid it because it's got a very bitter taste, so it's not palatable to livestock. Yet, as soon as it uh, becomes cut or sprayed with herbicide, the sugars rise within it, it becomes palatable and is still as toxic, so uh, a real problem to avoid there. Other problems from ragwort, uh, you can see on the photograph to the right here, heavy infestations can compete heavily with the grass and particularly in a dry spring, it does really well due to its waxy leaves and can thrive. And once flowering, the seeds uh, are wind dispersed and spread easily onto your neighbour's land. The biology of common ragwort, it's a biennial plant, so that means a two year life cycle. It germinates in the spring and then grows through year one until you get a rosette in the autumn of year one and then that rosette will overwinter into year two and in the spring of year two will extend upwards and form the um, the yellow flowers that we're all familiar with in um, in July August and then the seeds uh, are a small parachute type seed which uh, are easily dispersed with the wind in the uh, in the late summer of of year two and spread to neighboring land let's have a look at the control options available for ragwort the first would be pulling or levering out of the ground with a ragwort fork this may be practical with low populations in small paddocks. Do wear gloves because uh, they are toxic and can be irritant to, uh, to skin. The second method would be cutting. Uh, this can be a useful method to prevent seeding. But what happens is the plants do regrow from the base. You've taken out the central growing point and they become much more sturdy and established. And with continuous cutting, they'll even become perennial. The third option is herbicide application. And this can be very effective, but it does need to be applied at the right time. And we'll have a look at that on the next slide and you do also need to be very aware of the grazing restrictions around herbicide application. Autumn is the best time of year for herbicide application for ragwort. We're targeting the rosettes. This is the most susceptible stage of the weed. In late August, September, the rosettes are actively growing and also translocating downwards into the roots. 
So you get very good control and much better than you would get in the colder conditions of April in the spring. The other advantage of taking ragwort out in the autumn is it lessens the risk of any uh, dead and dried ragwort being in the hay or silage next spring. Looking at some specific agronomy solutions, so herbicides for the control of ragwort. Thrust is very effective and that would be used at three and a half litres per hectare. That contains 2,4-D plus dicamba and both very active uh, ingredients against ragwort. Another option would be Depitox at three litres per hectare, tank mix with Agritox at two litres per hectare. And here you're, you're given a combination of 2,4-D plus MCPA and that mix is very effective. And finally, Pasture Master, that is a co-formulated product of 2,4-D and MCPA and used at full rate of three and a half litres per hectare, very effective. These need to be applied in favourable growing conditions and can be applied up to the end of, of September. Uh, they can be applied to agricultural grassland and that includes horse pasture as well and they can also be applied to amenity grassland. You must remember that these are professional products and need to be applied by persons with the appropriate NPTC spraying certificate. These herbicides are very effective and you can see here that um, a ragwort rosette treated at the very end of August uh, by early October is dead, it's killed the root and it's almost disappeared. But it does take this sort of length of time to kill ragwort, so you'd be looking at about six weeks. The thrust product that I mentioned, that can also be applied by knapsack. So if you've got a low population, you can go around spot treating the rosettes in the autumn. Finally, you do need to be aware of grazing restrictions on herbicide labels. And you will find this information on most labels, but I will read it out in full. Ragwort plants sprayed with herbicide are more palatable and contain higher levels of toxins. Animals should be excluded from treated areas until any ragwort has completely recovered or died and there is no visible sign of the dead weed. Other things to note, um, you will see a two week grazing interval mentioned on our labels. Uh, this only applies where ragwort is not present and you're spraying for other weeds. Ragwort control, as we saw on the last slide, uh, normally takes about six weeks. So livestock would need to be kept out of treated fields for that period of time. And finally, um, don't cut for hay or silage if there is any ragwort still left in the in in the crop that has been treated okay that brings us to the end of this webinar thank you for listening and do check out the other grassland topics in the new farm academy virtual learning series thank you